This is what we're starting out with. Quartz, get some iron staining on it. This is from a claim. This is mineralized quartz. We're running it through a Mount Baker system. We're run one bucket through there. Shakes along the table. All the fines end up in there. There goes a little piece of gold right there. What's exciting is that one bucket of this material yielded all that gold. That was one five gallon bucket. Got that guys? One bucket yielded all that. So now we just ran another bucket. We're gonna run another bucket. See how we did. The way this system works is your heavies are collected in what's known as the number ones. The number twos take your black sands and sulfides. The number threes are a safety. You can see how fine the ore is ground. That's enough to liberate the gold. So next we're going to sweep down the table and see what we got. We're going to turn the system on again here. Again, we're going to be doing this type of quartz. This is rotted quartz. This is the sort of stuff they talked about in a lot of the old books. When they talk about rotted quartz, this is what they're talking about. Quartz that looks rotten. So we'll fire the machine up. Got a water flow coming out. Put the table running. Each one of these buckets holds 50 pounds of ore. Now I'm going to start throwing them in. Stop the machine mid cleanup. We're sweeping it down and that's the gold line. So there's quite a bit. So what do we get? So I used a broom to sweep the table down and sweep everything in there and it's kind of hard to see, but right there is a whole bunch of gold. So that's one thing you want to be aware of is sometimes your values can be trapped in the machine. It's a real useful way to get this out. Just flush it and it'll go down into the catch tray. Get up to our number two. And that got a lot of it. So now we have our final pan. This is the money shot that everybody loves to see. Look at that. That was six buckets of ore yielded all that gold. So that's definitely an economic deposit.